Hello everybody, it's the real Dr. Dre coming to you from Goat's Beard Homestead. I got my luxurious free hat I got with my new chainsaw, chainsaw, <laughs> chainsaw, and I'm here in uh, Willie's Wood Shop. I've been doing some uh, cedar wood furniture making and stuff down here, so just doing some stuff. Um, you know, whatever, um, and I'm, you know, looking real haggard, real dowdy, but you know, it, it is what it is. We're remote learning during the apocalypse. So um, today we're going to talk about Mormons and Scientologists. Um, we're going to watch two of my favorite episodes of South Park, all about Mormons, which is like unprecedentedly great in my opinion and then the classic trapped in the closet um, about Scientology so both really good episodes we'll talk a little bit about Mormonism and a little bit about Scientology we'll talk about blasphemy we'll, we'll just you know go through these episodes so um, I think that uh, my uh, stool's making fart noises. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think what's really important is that when we think about belief, uh, we're going to watch these episodes and, you know, you may not know anything about the Mormon faith and the story of Mormonism, and you're not going to get a lot of it in this class. You're, I mean, I'm really not going to give you the whole, the whole story. Okay, and certainly not for Scientology. Um, but you're going to watch these, op these episodes that both um, satirize and parody the stories of these religions that adherents believe in, essentially kind of lampooning those, those beliefs in some ways, um, in well, many ways. Um, and you may be like, wow, that's what Mormons believe? You're going to be very skeptical. Or you're going to be like, wow, that's what Scientologists believe? Holy fucking shit. Okay? But I think the key here is what belief rests in is non-rational faith. Listen. A rational human being knows that no motherfucker split the Red Sea. Shit just ain't fucking po- it's just no human- there's been no human evidence that someone can walk on water. It's just- you can't do it. Science- <laughs> doesn't allow for it to happen unless it's iced over, alright? Don't even- don't, I know some motherfucker out there was thinking that, all right? Wet water, no one can walk across the ocean, no one can split a sea, right? What believing in that, belief in that requires non-rational faith. Things that are rationally just make no sense to a reason, re, with, with reason and with evidence, that's where the faith is. That's where the belief is. I mean, so you could look at all these, these books, right? The, the Quran, uh, the, the Bible, the Torah. Um, look at all of these books and the stories within the books have all these, you know, things that happen that, you know, if, if you look at the evidence in the world, you'd be like, no fucking way that... That happened. There's just that's not possible unless these motherfuckers are aliens, which then someone could split the Red Sea. Um, but this is just so important. And then you look at you know things like L. Ron Hubbard's Dianetics and the Book of Mormon, and wow, let's even get to the things like Harry Potter or the Constitution, or you know if we think back to um, you know the Imagination Land trilogy, like when they talk about what, what or who is really real, well, that, that relies on 
who's believing and how they're be- and how they're believing. To some, Luke Skywalker, Star-, Star Wars is just as real as Jesus. Belief that those characters are real requires non-rational faith, and this is the foundation of so much religious belief is non-rational faith. You have to have that belief, right, that faith in things that don't seem humanly possible, and that's what those religious beliefs require. 